สวัสดีค่ะทุกคน Today I will answer a question from a viewer. Did the r o n g originate in Thailand? Throughout history, one fashion piece has existed in some forms or order across the diverse cultures of Southeast Asia. It is the s e r o n g Some historians believe that around 1,500 years ago, people in Southeast Asia received different cultures from India, including an Indian s e r o n g named Dhoti. But some people think that s e r o n g is from Indonesia, named Batik, and confirm the assumption from the terminology, which is an Indonesian word, and a fabric making crusades. Color is used from dyed plants in Indonesia. Black sticks for paint could be found in Indonesia, not India, according to the research of N. J. k r o n the Dutch historian. He said that making s e r o n g especially batik, was a traditional culture of Southeast Asia before the connection with India. s e r o n g is an English loanword of Malay origin, meaning to cover or to sheath. It was first used in 1834, referring to the skirt-like garment of the Malay. So it might originate in Malaysia or Indonesia, which has the same meaning of the word s e r o like Malaysian. However, the practice of wearing l e n s or fabric to cover oneself has been around for thousands of years in Southeast Asia, including Cambodia, Thailand, Myanmar, Laos, and more. The s e r o n g is believed to have been the first type of woven fabric used by both men and women in the region. Wearing a s e r o n g not only shows the common culture of Asian people, but also reflects the value of art and creativity in this continent. In Thailand, we found the records of s e r o n g in an ancient days of Sukhothai and the Kingdom of Lana. Thai women wore s e r o n g both in normal days and on important occasions such as weddings, funerals, Buddhist ceremonies, anniversaries, or birthdays. However, Thais might wear s e r o n g s from all areas of Thailand because different regions have their own unique patterns. If you say the word s e r o n g in Thailand, Thai people might imagine only this type of fabric for male using, or for Thai Muslim using. In Thailand, we prefer to call the s e r o n g that women wear as pasin or patung. If we use silk to make the fabric, we will call it pa m a i k Did you know there is an ancient Thai snack called mu s e r o n g It is our ancient snacks, which occur in the u t i a era. It has the word s e r o n g in its name. m u s e r o n g s name comes from a cooking method. m u in Thai means pork. m u s e r o n g means pork wearing s e r o n g by using boiled Chinese noodles wrapped over minced pork. m u s e r o n g was not well known as a Thai snack because it is only cooked in the royal family or the elite. We found this dish recipe from the record named Memories Letter by Gomaluang Narinthon Tewi, King Rama One Sister. 
the records say that this dish occurred from trading with Portuguese and Chinese in the UTR era. Thais brought this cooking method from the Portuguese and noodles from the Chinese to create musaro. Some locals who knew this dish also used chicken instant because it was cheaper than pork. They called it Gai Saro, and Gai in Thai means chicken. People forget about this Thai snack until it appeared in a famous Thai drama called Buk Pe Saniwat in 2018. However, it is still difficult to find in the market. If you want to eat, it is a lot easier to cook this dish at home. So, come cook Mu Sarong with me! The first step of cooking is a pastel coriander root and garlic in a mortar. And then, mix in minced pork. Put pepper, a bit of sugar, salt, and fish salt. Mix everything together before putting an egg into the bowl. Then mix again until they are combined. The next step is taking boiled Chinese noodles to wrap over the meat. It is time to fry the noodle balls and be careful to make sure the meat inside is cooked while not burning the noodle balls. And that's it! If you want to try this dish or decide to cook it, please tell me the result by commenting below.